Hey guys, um, today is just going to be a vlog video on uh, just some things that I've been thinking about and reconsidering with regards to my hobbies and my channel and my social media. So it's not going to be anything too exciting, it's just going to be me talking about um, things that I've been wanting to get back to doing that maybe I just didn't have time to do it or I just ended up finding other interests but I have been considering I really want to start getting back to my roots and by that I mean the main reason why I ever started showing up on the internet <laughs> and that was because of American Girl Dolls. As you guys have known, if you've followed me since I started my channel, I started my channel back in late 2012. Actually, um, this December that just passed marked my fifth year here on YouTube. Um, this year, when December comes, will be my sixth year. So I've been on YouTube for a pretty long time. Um, and some of my first videos were actually... American Girl doll related. I still remember the day that I went to the American Girl store to get Sage um, back when she was the Girl of the Year doll, of course. Um, I still remember like all the little conspiracy videos I used to do um, with like the trademark names and who was going to be the next Girl of the Year doll. I still remember the year, um, not the year that Grace came out, it was before that. It was when, like, Grace's leaked photos were coming out and, like, people were getting in trouble for it and American Girl was telling them to take the pictures down. And when I made a video on YouTube about that, nobody really believed me. <laughs> but all in all, it was still really fun. And um, I remember making my videos with my American Girl dolls talking to each other and making, like, reaction videos and just, you know, silly things like that. And... I've realized, and I've known this for a long time, that I kind of stopped doing that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have not been playing with my American Girl dolls for a really long time. Even during the time that I got Nenea, um, I have only been using Nenea to like display her and to fix her hair. Because, and even then, like, I have not even touched my dolls. Like, some of my dolls, I haven't even changed them in, from their outfits that they're wearing. I haven't changed them in a long time. And now that I went to the American Girl place this weekend with Luce, and getting Luciana, or my doll Millennia here, um, it made me realize how much I have kind of steered myself away from American Girl dolls without even realizing it. And I feel bad because you guys know that I love my AG dolls. I officially have 33 American Girl dolls, including Millennia, and I honestly never imagined that I would have this many dolls or have all the clothes that I have for them and that I would end up becoming part of such an exciting huge community of AG fans and doll fans in general. So that's why when I went to the American Girl place and I realized how long it's been since I last like legitimately played with an American Girl doll, I felt really bad. I feel like I've gone so far with like getting other kinds of toys and I think like I've kind of steered away from American Girl dolls because I started focusing more on other toy related things. Now that's not to say that it's a bad thing. I mean it's perfectly okay to have different interests and to be into different things. Like you don't have to be into like one specific thing or do the same exact thing all the time. It's perfectly fine for you to explore new things and try out new things and, you know, just kind of dive into new stuff, I guess. But I'm gonna admit, I feel nostalgic for AGTube and AGIG and the whole American Girl doll community. 
And I feel like I want to start making more videos and making more posts that focus on AG dolls again. And I know I've mentioned um, in my last few videos that Millennia will possibly be my last American Girl doll. And if that is so, I really want to start focusing on my own AG dolls and just kind of having them only and just do the kind of videos I used to do where they would all be like a little family of sisters and, you know, they would interact with one another and kind of have like a whole big family. Sorry if nothing what I'm, make, what I'm saying is making any sense. Um, I'm honestly like the worst person when it comes to expressing verbally what I'm thinking. Um, I feel like I'm stronger with expressing myself when it comes to writing, but when it comes to actually talking, I sound like, I sound like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Actually, even worse, because Dr. Seuss was at least clever. I'm just a potato. But anyways, guys, that's just kind of what I've been thinking about lately. Um, and I really do want to start getting back to doing more American Girl doll videos. But another problem I've been having, um, besides, like, me shifting my interests and other things... I haven't had time to play with them anymore. And that really sucks because even like during times when I really want to play with my AG dolls, I have no time or I have no energy. I have a full-time job and then I also go to school um, in the evenings. So when I get home, I just want to crash into bed and go to sleep. <laughs> Sometimes when I don't have a school day or if I leave work early or whatever, I'll make some videos. Or sometimes when, um, usually I record on weekends, my YouTube videos. I usually record on weekends. Sometimes I'll upload them, like, days or weeks later, depending if I remember to upload them. Um, but the times that I'm able to, like, make videos and stuff, uh, it all just kind of depends on what happens during the day. But usually, like, during the week, I do so many things within the day that I just, in the end, like, I never really have time to really sit down and play with my American Girl dolls. And that's another thing that really saddens me. Right now, I'm not going to school, but I do have my job, so at least I have at least some time in between to spend time with my American Girl dolls. But then I don't know how long that's gonna last because I do plan to go to school again later in the year. I don't know, the whole thing just... I hate adulting. In case you couldn't tell already. Because <laughs> I just feel like I don't have time for anything now. Like, literally, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. But yeah, that's another thing I'm gonna have to think about like how I'm going to be able to manage my time between doing what I got to do and then having some time to play with my AG dolls because I really don't want to see my dolls just sitting there collecting dust when I love them and I want to play with them and dress them in their outfits and style their hair and whatnot by the way, if you hear a snapping noise, that's just me cracking my knuckles. I know it's a really bad habit of mine, but yeah. But now that I have Millennia and I've been carrying her around the house and stuff and I don't know, just, I don't know if it was really the doll herself or the fact that I went to the American Girl store after such a long time. When was the last time I went to the AG store? I don't even remember. Like, before I went to the new one in Rockefeller Center. Um, before that, I don't remember the last time I had gone to the AG store before I went to the new one. So that's to say it was a pretty long time ago. But yeah, that's just kind of what I've been thinking about lately. I mean, I definitely still want to continue, like, making videos of uh, other toys, like LOL dolls and... Um, my Love-A-Bella doll and my other interactive dolls. 
But I also really want to start going back to my... How do I say? I want to go back to starting... I can't explain this. Hold on. Let me let me gather my brain here. I want to go back to doing what I had started doing in the beginning of my YouTube channel, which was American Girl Dolls. That's basically the whole moral of the story here. Um, with that in mind, uh, I'm sorry, I'm like obsessed with her hair. <laughs> I love that purple streak just sticking out there like, hey... Um, anyways, I have not had the opportunity to open Millennia's things, like her robot dog and her, uh, workbench. Um, there is a possibility that we're having a snow day tomorrow because I've been hearing everywhere that there's going to be, like, a terrible snowstorm and whatnot, so I may end up getting a snow day from work tomorrow, so if that happens... Guess what I'm going to be doing? Opening Millennia's workbench and robot doggy. That is if I don't end up, like, sleeping until 3 in the afternoon. <laughs> right. Anyway, so if I do end up opening the workbench and the robot dog, I am going to be making a video about that. Don't you guys worry. Um, but I also wanted to get into a little something else. So, I'm that one weirdo that likes to record the names and birth dates of my American Girl dolls. Each of my dolls has a first name, a middle name, and a last name, with the exception of a few dolls. Um, Kaya doesn't have a middle... <laughs> Kaya doesn't have a middle name. Uh, Mary Grace doesn't have a middle name. And I think, like, maybe one or two other dolls. I'm not sure. Um, but I also record their birth dates. Now, I don't go by the birth dates that are used in, like, their books or anything. My dolls are completely different characters from the characters portrayed in their books. Like, my dolls have absolutely nothing to do with how they're portrayed in the books. So, um... My doll's birth dates are actually based on either the day that I get them or the day that I open them or if um, they're thrifted like uh, Glenn and Kirsten were. Um, it depends also on the day that I got them but then I'll like alter their birth year. For example, um, Glenn is a... A transition era doll so during the time period between when Pleasant Company was selling American Girl to Mattel so um, there was an era during that time when like the dolls had certain markings or certain misspellings uh, for example Glenn has the misspelled American Girl tag on her side um, so that's how I know she's a transition era doll so that means that whoever originally owned her must have gotten her, like, in the very early 2000s. So I decided that her birth year would be 2002. Kirsten is a Pleasant Company doll, and um, I know that Pleasant Company dolls have been around, like, during the 80s and 90s. So I decided Kirsten's birth year would be 1990. So that's basically how I've done it with, like, dolls that I get, like, thrifted or from eBay or whatnot. And I have all of that written down in this Hanazuki notebook. And these are all my AG dolls. So my first doll, of course, was Kanani, and this was actually the day that I got her. And there's Kaya, there's McKenna, there's Kira, Rebecca, and Jalen. This is Caroline's. This is Ivy, Sage, Lainey, Zelda, Molly, Emily, um, Kit, Cecile, Marie Grace, Kirsten, Luciana, not the girl of the year. This is my renamed Samantha, um, Grace, Amy, this is Mary Ellen's, this is Aaliyah's, my renamed Leah, um, this is Ebony, this is Addie, this is Glenn, 
This is um, Brianna. Um, I ultimately decided on a full name for her. And this is what her full name is. But I'm still going to refer to her as Brianna, even though I decided that would be her middle name. Because that is the name that my friend originally picked for her. Uh, this is Melody's name. This is Gabby's, Gwen's, Nenea's, um, and this is Melania's name with her birth date and everything. Um, <clears throat> and of course, I had to decorate them with stickers because how could I not? So every page is decorated with lots and lots of cute stickers. And that's where I keep my American Girl doll stuff. Um, the only ones I don't have in that book are my other Samantha doll and my Julie. And that's because, um, if you guys don't know the story, they used to be my godmothers. She gave them to me. Um, I used to, it used to be the case that I was going to temporarily keep them, but now she decided, no, I want you to keep them forever. So, um, they're the only ones that don't have, like, birth names or birth years because I feel like my godmother is the one that knows that so you know she's the one that should decide on the birth date and birth year I mean the birth date and their full names and whatnot so I'm gonna leave them the way they are so yeah there's that um anything else that I want to add to my American Girl nostalgia stuff not a whole lot, except for I, I mean, American Girl has definitely changed over the years. I remember, like, being into AG Dolls back in 2010. Didn't get my first one until a year later, but it's, it's kind of surreal how quickly, um, their company and everything has changed I mean, if you think about it, like, they've expanded so much. I mean, first of all, they changed the way that they market Girl of the Year dolls. Um, they're stepping their game up with the diversity, which is really good. Um, they started making those contemporary characters. Um, like, you know, uh, Z, um, Tenny, and Logan. Uh, what else? They started making boy dolls, which... I never, like, not that I never thought they would ever do that, um, but it's just, like, it's funny because I remember, like, years ago when people would always be like, oh, when are American boy dolls coming out? They should come out with boy dolls. They should come out with boy dolls. And now, like, now they have boy dolls. So it's pretty funny how that happens. They've expanded the Truly Me line. Um, they, 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 they allow you to make customized dolls now, which is part of the reason why I say that, uh, Millennia might be my last doll. I'm still not sure yet because I actually want to make my own custom doll. So yeah. Oh, don't forget Welly Wishers. Hello. Oh my God. Welly Wishers was filled with people the day that I was at the American Girl store. Like Welly Wishers was packed. So yeah, and stuff like that, I've noticed that American Girl has changed drastically. Um, and to be honest, I'm actually excited about that. I want to see how much further American Girl will go. Um, I'm, I've been hearing rumors that American Girl is planning to, like, phase out the Girl of the Year line. So basically, like, they're... The reason why they're making, like, Gabriella and Luciana, um, they're, like, extending their, their retirement date. Like, you know how in previous Girl of the Year dolls, they would retire the dolls, like, right at the end of the year. They didn't do that with Gabby, and they're not going to do that with Lucy, and I'm, and people have been speculating that it's because American Girl wants to phase out the Girl of the Year line, and... That way they can focus on their contemporary doll line. To be honest, I hope they don't do that because I really love the Girl of the Year line. Um, I just I just love the Girl of the Year line. I love um, finding out like what the next you know popular Girl of the Year is. Excuse me. 
I want to be able to, like, you know, speculate and see what the new girl of the year is going to be. She's going to be, like, the... Kind of like the, the the superstar of American Girl for the year. That's how I I always thought of Girl of the Year dolls. Like, they were the the ones that got, like, a chance in the spotlight for the year. Like, yeah, I'm that Girl of the Year. Uh-huh. Can't tell me nothing. I'm Girl of the Year. So it was always exciting to see, like, who the new Girl of the Year was going to be or what her theme was going to be and what her collection was going to be like. And... Knowing that next year there was going to be a new one coming out. And the anticipation of seeing what the new Girl of the Year doll was going to be and and all that jazz. I kind of don't want American Girl to lose that. I mean, having contemporary characters is nice because at least um, you don't have to like rush in to get them. Because like, oh my god, they're limited edition. They're going to retire and I'm not going to get anything. Like, at least with contemporary characters, you don't get, like, that pressure to buy all their stuff quickly. Um, but at the same time, like, I really hope they don't cancel, like, the whole idea of the Girl of the Year doll. Because, to be honest, the Girl of the Year line is actually my favorite line from American Girl. By the way, this is a random thought, but do you guys remember, um... Before McKenna came out, they had, like, these really weird code names for the Girl of the Year dolls. You know what McKenna's code name was? It was Velma. I'm not kidding. McKenna's code name was Velma. Like, whenever American Girl would talk about, like, oh, the Girl of the Year for 2012, stay tuned for a surprise, um, they, they coded her name as Velma. I don't remember what Sage's code name was. Um yeah, I don't remember what her code name was, but I remember um Isabel's code name was I'm going to butcher the daylights out of this name. Blanche, Blanc. It's B L A N C H E. That was her that was her code name before Isabel came out. So yeah, that was just like a random thought that I suddenly remembered. I was like, ah, remember when everyone thought McKenna's name was going to be Velma? And seriously, like people were freaking out because they were like, oh my god, that name is hideous. They better not name the girl the year that. That would be terrible. But that's when we discover Trademarkia. Speaking of butchering names, remember when everyone would butcher Kanani's name? People would spell her name in the most bizarre ways that it actually became a meme on the doll collecting forum that I'm in. I'm in American Girl Collectors and we have this thing where like we'll spell Kanani's name in like the most weird way possible. Like we'll put random letters in it and then <laughs> we'll be like, can I have your Knorblers please? I'm 10 years old and I only have three dollars and I'm a veterinarian. Because there's this other thing with Kanani that people always, like, well, not always, like, but a lot of people, like, will just show up in your comment section and be like, oh my god, can I have your Kanani? I don't have any American Girl dolls. I'm 10 years old and my dad's a veteran and my dog is a Navy SEAL or something. Like, they'll come up with any kind of story just to, like, kind of persuade you to either sell them or give them your Kanani doll. Listen, I love my Kanani doll. She was my first doll. Her ends are dry and split. <laughs> there is no way on God's green acres that I am ever going to give her away or sell her. So do not ask. <laughs> And yes, I have gotten people, like, not as a joke, but, like, legitimately ask me if I'm selling my Kanani. And the answer is no. Same thing with my Mirabelle doll, which is not American Girl doll. Um, There were some people that came forward and were asking me if, like, I'm going to sell my Mirabelle. Nope, not happening. Believe me, if I was to sell any of my dolls one day, I would definitely let you guys know. Um, both on YouTube and on Instagram. So if I'm selling a doll, you guys would definitely know. 
But yeah, that was another thing that I remembered. The whole Carnorbles, Canubi, Canernies, Canubles. Yeah, people, I'm telling you, people butchered Kanani's name in the worst way possible. Then I'm like, guys, it's Kanani. K-A-N-A-N-I. It's not that hard. It's not rocket surgery, but um, tss. All right, guys, so I feel like this video has gone for way too long. And I'm over here just talking random nonsense about American Girl and whatnot. But I just thought I'd share my thoughts, even if they make no sense at all. I guess you can consider this my five years later video. Because that was another thing I completely forgot to do on December 1st was make a year in review of my YouTube channel and how much it's grown and all that other fun stuff. Which was actually... The last thing I wanted to get into. Guys, I want to thank you to I want to thank you to all my subscribers. What? I want to thank every single one of you, my friends, my subscribers, my everything um for supporting me and my channel for so long. I've had ups and I've had downs, but the fact that you guys have always been there supporting me 100% I've been celebrating more of the ups than the downs, believe me. And yes, there will be people who either are jealous or have no lives and will, you know, find any kind of way to criticize you or hate on you for what you do. But you know what? You just got to carry on. Just carry on with your life and don't let anyone stop you from doing what you love. So guys, I want to show you something on my YouTube channel, um, something that I'm very amazed at, and I can't believe it's been that I've gotten so many subscribers now, and I was hoping you guys would help me out with this to see if I can get some more subscribers. You see here? I have almost 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 people are subscribed to my video, and 2,000 people are, well, almost 2,000 people are very likely watching my American Girl doll videos, which, not gonna lie, has left me a little shook because, oh my god, I never thought I would gather such a large crowd of people. <laughs> Now, obviously, I'm by no means, like, a famous YouTuber. I'm not Graveyard Girl or anything of that sort. But it's still amazing to see that I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Because, honestly, when I started my channel five years ago, I had no idea I was even going to get 100 subscribers. I was, honestly, I hadn't, I didn't even know. Like, I was just like, I'm probably going to get, like, five people to watch my videos. <laughs> Girl, bye. I almost have 2,000. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to thank you guys from the heart of my bottom that I have been able to get this far with YouTube subscribers. And it's amazing to see so many people have the same interests and hobbies as I do. And you know it's also amazing that there's a lot of people who are younger, some people who are older than me, and we all have the same, like, non-judgmental mentality. That is, people of any age can love toys and dolls. And people of any age can play with dolls and toys. And to see that there's such a large community of people who have the same mindset, um, it makes me feel better because it feels like I'm not alone. So I just wanted to once again thank you guys for supporting me and showing me that I can really, like, be myself and not worry about what mean people think and always have my friends and subscribers to back me up. And I really hope that we can increase more subscribers so that way I end up getting my 2,000 hit and maybe we can even go beyond that. Who knows? Alright, so that was the last point I wanted to make. Um, I have to end this video soon because I'm already at 30 minutes and my cell phone cannot hold on to that much video minutes, if that makes sense. So, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching my video. 
um, if you actually sat through this 30 minute video of ramblings, if you made it past this point, comment the word unibrows. Yes, I said unibrows. Why not? All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you again in a future video. I <laughs> get it. Future because it's Yana. Millennia. The future. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And hopefully tomorrow I can make my videos with my new American Girl accessories. And... Maybe I can upload some more pictures and maybe I can finally change my dolls out of their freaking Christmas outfits from last year. And I'm not talking 2017. I'm talking their Christmas outfits from 2016. Okay? That's how long I haven't changed some of my dolls. I know. Shook. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!